Dave, anything planned for the day? Are you even going to try? I'm an offender, Jane. Right? No one wants to hire me. I've tried. Oh, not this again. No, I don't like it either, but if no one's going to give me a chance... No, I just keep claiming the benefit until... I don't have to talk about it anymore. That could be years. They'll cut off your benefit. Well, what would you know about it? I really have not got time for this now, Dave. You have got to find a job if you want to keep staying here because I just can't keep supporting you. I've got nowhere else to go, Jane. Oh, look. Sarah needs a new school uniform. And it's her birthday soon. She's asked me for a guitar, can you imagine? I need you to help us, Dave. You're her dad. You're supposed to be supporting her, not me supporting you. I know. All right, I know. I don't mean to keep having a go, OK, but please, will you just try again? I'll tell you what. Why don't I leave you my laptop and you can have a look for some jobs and then when I come back, maybe I can help you to apply. OK? Yeah. OK. Right, I've really got to go. Sarah, come on, please. Yeah, what about this one? Maintenance operative. Was it a permanent contract? Yep. Although I'm not going to get it though, am I? Well, why not? Well, you know why not. You used to be so positive. Where did all that go? Come on, let's have a look. Right. Interpersonal skills. Good physical fitness. Well, you've always had that. Flexibility, full clean driving licence, £11 per hour. Oh, you'll get that easy. Right, you do the basics and then I'll check it over. Address. And here we go again. But what is it? It's the same question. Do you have any unspent criminal convictions, yes or no? What do I put? Do you have to answer? Well, it says it's the law. So yes, I have to. I suppose you better add then. David Brown? Oh, uh, yeah, that's me. Come in. Have a seat, Mr Brown. Thank you. Well, we'd all like to make these things too formal, so why don't you just tell us a bit about yourself? OK. All right. Uh, well, I'm uh, 29 years old. Um, I've worked mainly in uh, labouring and construction, um, although I have done some, uh, some carpentry and uh, some gardening. I have done some sales as well. Uh, I have six GCSEs uh, and I have an MVQ in uh, business skills. That all sounds good. I see you've put that you have a criminal conviction. Could you tell us a bit about that, please? Uh, yes, of course. Um, back in 2010, I was arrested uh, with a small amount of drugs on me. Um, despite it being only for personal use, I was convicted of possession with intent to supply. Um, I mean, back then I was, I was in with a bad crowd. Um, and to be honest, being arrested was probably the best thing that happened to me. I mean, prison gave me a chance to think. I've got a small daughter, and uh, you know, I don't want her to grow up without her dad. Um, I used the time to sort myself out. Uh, I, I did the MVQ, and I also, I also volunteered to be a prison listener as well. Hmm. I see. Thanks for being so honest, Mr Brown. It's really important that we have a totally professional environment. Oh, absolutely. I fully understand. I'm, I'm, I'm in no way involved in any of that anymore. Um, I mean, I, I only ever have a drink at Christmas now. Mm -hmm. so. Well, on the sounds of it, I don't think we should be too worried about your reoffending. We'll be considering you on your skills and experience only, not your record. Thanks very much for coming in. We will be in touch soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Do you have to answer? Well, 
Well, I could leave it blank. I could tell them in the interview. I mean, it all sounds better in person. Well, there you go. Just make sure you get the chance. David Brown? Oh, uh, yeah, that's me. Come in. Have a seat, Mr. Brown. Thank you. Well, we'd all like to make these things too formal, so why don't you just tell us a bit about yourself? Okay. All right. Uh, well, I'm uh, 29 years old. Um, I've worked mainly in uh, labouring and construction, um, although I have done some, uh, some carpentry and uh, some gardening. And I have done some sales as well. Uh, I have six GCSEs uh, and I have an MVQ in uh, business skills. That all sounds good, Mr Brown. Do you have any questions for us so far? Uh, no. No, not really, no. There is one thing. I see there's a gap in your employment between 2010 to 11. You've just put down that you were unavailable for work. Could you explain that, please? Yes. Uh, yeah, uh, well... You see, what happened wasn't actually my fault, you know, um, really. Well, what... See, what happened, well, I was in prison. But it wasn't that bad. I mean, it was only for, for cannabis, mostly. I mean, nothing too serious. I mean, everyone's done, done a little bit, haven't they? You were in prison? Yeah. Possession of cannabis? Yes. No. Yes and no. Possession and supply. I mean, it was only just that one time, though. I mean, it was not an ill carnival. I didn't think anyone would mind. And then they start making out on some, like, big-time dealer or something. And my solicitor, like, in court, he was useless. I mean, he just sat there. So that was that. I mean, year of my life wasted. But, you know, it's not as if anyone got hurt or anything. Well, thank you for explaining that, Mr Brown. I can see it's obviously not been very easy for you. Yes, sir. Thanks. Fascinating. We'll be in touch. OK. Right. Do you have any questions for us so far? Uh, no, no. Uh, there is something I should explain. Go ahead. Well, you'll see that there's a, there's a gap in my experience. That's because in 2010 I was arrested for a small amount of drugs. Um, despite it being only for personal use, I was convicted of possession with intent to supply. Um, I mean, back then I was, I was in with a bad crowd. Um, and to be honest, being arrested was probably the best thing that happened to me. I mean, prison gave me a chance to think. I've got a small daughter, and uh, you know, I don't want her to grow up without her dad. Um, I used the time to sort myself out. Uh, I, I did the MVQ, and I also, I also volunteered to be a prison listener as well. Mm. I see. Thanks for being so honest, Mr Brown. It's really important that we have a totally professional environment. Oh, absolutely. I fully understand. I mean, I'm, I'm in no way involved in any of that anymore. Um, I mean, I, I only ever have a drink at Christmas now, too. So. <laughs> well, I'll be honest. You're certainly one of the better candidates we've seen, and everyone deserves a second chance. I'd love to offer you the position. But our culture here is all about honesty. It's company policy not to employ anyone who is knowingly misled. The application form clearly asks if you have unspent convictions and you checked the no box. Well, yeah. But that was only so I could get a foot in the door. I mean, it always sounds so much better if I can just explain it in person. We appreciate that, Mr Brown. It is company policy. There really is nothing we can do. Right. Okay. Thanks a lot.